Hey guys, it's Colin here at eTrailer, and today we got a 2020 Hyundai Palisade. Now, we've been test fitting some hitch mounted accessories on it just to see how they interact with the Palisade, it being a new vehicle. And right now we have the Thule Hitching Post Pro loaded up. Now, this is going to be a four bike hanging style rack that mounts to your hitch receiver. And it's going to allow you to get up to four bikes loaded up so you can haul them to and from your destination. Let's go ahead and take a closer look and show off some of the features of it. You can see right now we got a bike loaded up. Now, this is going to be good for most of your mountain bikes and stuff like that. I'd probably stay away from any carbon fiber bikes just because you don't want to ruin the frames on those. Other than that, it does a great job of holding our bikes. And it's a really nice and economical choice, especially for the brand Thule. We got two rubber coated or rubber straps, I should say, on our top tube, securing it into the cradles. You don't have to worry about that rubber really harming the top part of your frame. And the third point of contact we have is going to be down here with an anti-sway cradle and in the same rubber strap through it. Now what that's doing is that's taking away a lot of the unnecessary movement. You can see it's moving a little bit as I shake it pretty hard, but it's preventing it from swaying and swinging back and forth like that. And I'll just show you guys what I mean. We'll take that strap off and just remove the cradle from the equation. And I'll shake it just as hard as I was. You can see there's a lot more movement right there. So that anti-sway cradle does a great job of keeping your bike secure. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove it the rest of the way. Now here's something I do want to point out. With our bike currently, it is kind of in a gray area of if a bike adapter bar would work or not. And basically what a bike adapter bar is, is a bar that mounts right here to your seat post tube, comes over here to your handlebars, provides you with a level space to uh, get your hang hanging or get your bike onto your hanging style rack. Now that's in cases where you have an alternative frame bike or just a bike where the opening right here is very small. You see that a lot in children's bikes and some women's bikes. So a bike adapter bar in that case is what you would want to go ahead and invest in. Right here, we can kind of squeeze it off it's not too much trouble. You can just kind of work it back and forth a little bit, just like that. But if you find that you're having some difficulties, we got a lot of bike adapter bars available here at eTrailer that you can just make that small investment, make your life a little bit easier uh, unloading and loading up your bikes. I'm gonna go ahead and re-secure my straps right there. There we go. Now, I want to go over a few measurements for you guys. First, we're going to measure from the bumper of our Palisade to the outermost part of the Hitching Post Pro. Now, what that's going to do for us is tell us how much length we have added on to the back of our bike. It's about 39 inches uh, added on to the back of our vehicle. Now, keep in mind, if you have a bike loaded up right here, the pedals and the handlebars probably will stick out a little bit further. Other than that, and you know, it's 39 inches, 39 inches added on to the back of your palisade, you just want to keep that in mind for any close quarter situations. But if you want to take away some of that space, you can actually leave this installed on your palisade and fold down these arms by removing this pin and clip, folding those arms down, and then replace it right there. Just like that, you see we take away a lot of space, you can travel with it in this position. Measure again, bumper to the outermost point. It's about 17 and a half inches. So we took away a lot of space. So parking in a tight parking spot around town, maybe even parking in your garage without having to remove your hitching post pro could mean a lot, especially if you can shut your garage door and you don't have to worry about removing it. Now, in any cases where maybe you want to gain access to the trunk, you can still do so when the bike rack is empty. Uh, we have the arms folded down, so when it's when the bike rack is empty, we can pull this pin and clip, tilt it away. You can see we got a really nice angle right there, so that we can open up our trunk. There's plenty of clearance right there. We can lean in here and grab whatever we might need, whether it's a chair, or cooler, maybe for a lunch. Go ahead and shut that, and then when tilting it back up, just bring it back up like so and then reinstall this pin and clip. Might have to kind of play with it a little bit to get that pin all the way back through. There we go. Now while we're down here, let's see how it attaches to our hitch. Now on the Palisade, we do have a two inch by two inch hitch receiver. And we do have an anti-rattle bolt right here. That is our 
hitch pin per se and that's just taking away all that shake and play you can see as i shake the bike rack around there's no movement in there and the entire rear of the vehicle is moving so you're not going to worry about any rattling or anything like that while you're traveling and you can see right here we have a nice uh, sleeve that's making it compatible with our two inch hitch you can actually remove this and convert the shank to fit inch and a quarter hitches so if you got multiple vehicles in your household it'll work for multiple hitches here on our test course we'll start by going through the slalom this is going to show us the side to side action this simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 